Lately, measles has been spreading through the world's media like a bad rash. But what's all the fuss about? Are the recent outbreaks really that bad? To find the answer, we'll need to look at some data. The World Health Organization tracks the spread of infectious diseases like measles by collecting data from around the world. But when you look at all that data in a table, it's hard to make any sense of it. It's just a jumble of numbers. That's where graphs come to the rescue. The best way of visualizing change over time in a data set is by making a line graph. We do this by plotting the data in the table as points and connecting the points by straight line segments. Take a look at this line graph of worldwide cases of measles. Time in years is shown horizontally on the x-axis. We can see that this graph starts in 1980 and goes up to 2018, with a grid line for each year. The number of measles cases is shown vertically on the y-axis. We can see that it starts at zero and the main grid lines go up by 1 million. The smaller grid lines go up by 100,000. These will help us read off values from this graph. Each point on the graph tells us the number of measles cases that were reported in that year. For example, to find the number of cases in 1984, we go up from 1984 on the x-axis, then read across from the line to find the value on the y-axis. We can see that there were about 3 million cases of measles around the world in that year. For a slightly trickier example, let's find the number of cases in the year 2000. We go up from 2000 on the x-axis until we hit the line, then read across to find the value on the y-axis. This value is about halfway between 800,000 and 900,000 cases. So we can estimate that the number of measles cases was about 850,000. If we step back and look for patterns in the graph, we can see that overall, the number of measles cases decreased in this time period. An overall decreasing pattern in a line graph is called a negative trend. But we can also see that the number of cases increased from 2016 to 2018. This increasing pattern is called a positive trend. Other small sections of the graph have positive trends too, even though the overall trend is negative. So to answer the question of how bad the recent increase is, we'll need to dig deeper. 